This video is going to cover so much of what is going on on the island of Maui, Hawaii right now, folks. You're going to want to watch it all the way to the end because we have something extraordinary and special to discuss with you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Forum Sets. My name is Samantha, and I wanted to do a quick video for you guys on Maui. So I found some documentation that really breaks my heart. As of right now, 5,000 jobs have been lost since the August 8th, 2023 fires devastated the island. Over 4,000 people have currently left Maui due to the high cost of living and 6% reduction in jobs. And why is that? Guys, tourism has dropped so much. So what they're saying is that close to 15,000 people less daily than what they're used to. Now, that's a lot of money, folks. So when Stephen and I go to Maui, something I want y'all to understand is we pass out the money that we collect. When we go eat, we double the tip. So we actually pay them exactly what the meal would cost plus a tip to the server. What am I saying? If we sit down to a $50 lunch, we're going to give the server 120 bucks. We have done that on both previous trips. And the reason is we're trying to cover two or three other people. It's like we're going there with the intent of helping the economy, not just documenting what is going on currently on Maui. Because folks, what I just found is going to blow your mind. So, Mayor, I mean, Governor Green went ahead and signed that ridiculous law, folks. So, what he's doing is there are no more short-term rentals, okay? No more Airbnbs on Maui. This is really going to hurt tourism because the hotels are extremely expensive. If you have a bunch of taxes added on, and that's going to cut a lot of people out from being able to go to Maui. And now he's saying, hey, if you're renting to somebody, the only way that you can cut their lease and end it early, right? Say you have someone that's not paying you. Say you have someone that's causing trouble, drinking, drugging, causing issues with the neighbors. You can't just kill the lease. Like you have no rights. There's only two ways to get out of that lease, folks. And here they are. Let me tell you something, what that's going to do. It's really going to hurt the people who are the owners of the property. It does not protect private land ownership. It gives the owner no rights to protect their property. And it's really going to hurt the rental industry. They've got terrible people in place. Also, I found very interesting was that Mayor Bisson has um, reached out. They're going to have an outside group come in to do an after fire evaluation to see everything that happened on August 8th, 2023. And in this article, notice something right here in the center right there. He says, you know, he defends himself. So obviously there have been some rumors that he had a doctor's appointment that he did not go to, even though he claimed he did. And now they have clarified it for everyone with an outside agency. And that's supposed to make us feel better, folks. That's supposed to make us feel better. Like these people are going to be up and up, right? After everything that's going on in Maui, none of us really trust the governor or the mayor, right? Like none of us do. And one thing I want to make very apparent and clear here, Stephen and I seriously want to see what is going on with the evidence that King, and I, want, I don't want to say it wrong, but it's like Nui, King Nui, N-U-I, what he has and what the princess has, right? Like, what are their legal documents and where do they stand with that? And whatever extra monies we have, we want to give it to both of them to help them fight the current legal battles in. Because recently we got another message from the king and look at their catchphrase they made, made up. I love it. Opportunity not, right? They know what they're fighting against, folks. They have been fighting for over 100 years to get their indigenous lands back, 
it's funny to me how many people currently live on those islands, especially Maui, that have a no clue there is actually a Hawaiian king. Like, they're almost angry with me in comments about it. Like, I've been here two years. I've been here 15 years. I didn't know we had a king. Get out of your house. <laughs> Go meet the indigenous peoples whose lands you currently occupy. And maybe, just maybe, you'll get to meet the king. That's all I can tell them because I don't understand their attitude behind that. Now, moving on, we all know that HARP, H-A-A-R-P, is going on right now in Alaska. We know that we're in a geo-electric, um, you know, mag I think it's like a geomagnetic electric storm, basically worldwide, but it is causing insane weather on the Hawaiian Islands. Normally in May, the weather should look like this, folks. They're expecting snow. They're expecting snow in May of 2024. Now that's, remember we've all said, and several of you have commented, it's cooler than it's been in weeks. Like we've all been up in 80 and 90 and 100 degree weather. And all of us are like, wow, it's seriously cool. It's almost chilly. Look what I'm wearing, right? Well, it's also affecting Maui in the Hawaiian islands because the big island is expected to get some snow on its highest peaks. Now I checked, I was like, how, how rare is this? Like, is it really possible to get snow in Hawaii during May? And look what they said. Normally the temperatures during the evenings are the high seventies and during the days are the mid eighties. So no, it is extremely rare. I'm not going to believe that this is an accident. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to, folks. I'm not going to. But Stephen and I are asking you guys to row in our boat. Help us to get to Maui. Help us help these people keep their jobs. Even if it's just the two of us, every dollar we spend at a gas station, at a restaurant, because we're not, there's only one Walmart on the whole place. There's not a lot of places to eat out that are not like, person, you know, like you and I own it. It's not like a McDonald's. They have them, but it's not big there. Help us go and stay with people. Let us go and spend that money there, folks. If we all don't start rowing in Maui's boat, if we don't start bringing the attention back, if we don't draw people's eyes there and raise the awareness of what's going on with the land, they're never going to win this battle, y'all. So as a Mother's Day gift, I'm going to drop I am. I'm just going to be bold because God says you ask not, you, you don't receive because you won't ask. So I'm asking you guys, even if it's just a dollar, I'm going to drop our givesendgo.com give, Maui trip three mission trip link at the very top of comments. If you guys would pray about it and see what God leads you to send, we would be so thankful. That'd be the best, best Mother's Day gift ever. It really would. I mean, I want to go. I want to document everything the king and the princess has to say. I want to be there August 8th, 9th, and 10th in 2024 to hear what the governor and the mayor have to say. I want to hear it with my own ears and I want to record it and I want to show you guys. And I want to spread love and aloha over that island from one end to the other, folks, because 4,000 more people have left. And I guarantee you 50% of that were Hawaiian natives. And more Hawaiian people live off island than on islands. And that hurts my heart. It just hurts my heart. We fight all these battles, all these kids protesting and stuff. And here's something we could all do. We can all make a difference here. I love you guys. I'm so tired. We worked so hard today. It's bedtime. Um, God's so good. I'm going to have my youngest daughter and my youngest son at church with me tomorrow. God has restored what the locusts ate. He's redeemed my time to me. And I just, I genuinely love you guys. Thank you for being here with Stephen and I, for being part of our family, for hanging in here and growing our channel. We couldn't do this without you guys. And don't forget, May 15th is coming up. The new newsletter is coming out. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Leslie and Amber and I are going to set up another Zoom for the ones of you on the newsletter list that couldn't make Friday. We're going to set another one up late evening for those of you who work mornings. So we want to try to be able to see as many people face to face as we can. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. Let's bring everybody's eyes back to Maui.
So some of you were asking me the other day, Sam, we want to adopt a family. Everybody's been talking about this. Me being able to hook you guys up with an adopt a Maui family. So my husband's going to jump in and kind of explain this to you guys. Come here, Steve. Because you guys know we, we know our boat, if we're not rowing in the same direction, and I know this is true for all of you, we just spin in circles and nothing gets done. So he brought this up and I said, oh my gosh, Steven, I've had several people mention that to me. So what do you think? Oh, well, my, my thought of, all right, Hawaii is an American state. So why not go over there and we pill, not pill for her, but um, do our own little figuring out who we can adopt and everything. But if you can think of any kind of ideas of it, y'all write some comments in this. That way Samantha know. But I think um, to go over there, we find a family that's in need and adopt that family. And not... not why don't we do this? While you're, while you're talking, it's kind of going through my head kind of quick. Why don't they? Guys, when you do the Give, Send, Go, you can write comments, okay? So you can send your donation to the Give, Send, Go, and then you can, however much, and you can put on there, adopt a family. And then what Steve and I can do is, you need to write your email or I'm not sure how to do it because I want you guys to know That's who your saying, family yo, is. Yeah. We may just be able to go over there and adopt one family. It's just to be able to help them, support them. Because a lot of them's homes burnt. They don't have nothing over there no more. Still. But one family, to go over there and adopt that one family, give them a place to stay, um, food. Actually, clothes I just want to give back. them cash. Well, that's but, what yeah. I'm saying. Adopt yeah, they them. can do that. They can do that themselves because they know where they want to be at. Right. Oh, I, I agree don't with know that. where they're going to be at. But yeah. you go over there, literally adopt, help adopt that family. Like, say, all right, we got elderly people here that they all, all of our people here, we have homes, everything. But you just go find an elderly family, um, lady, gentleman, that needs a support needs some help we can go over there and literally say here's this amount of money and guys y'all have to remember how expensive it is there. yeah so all right so you're saying you'd like to do an elderly family my heart always goes toward children guys it'd be really awesome if we could identify two families to adopt an elderly couple and a, a younger family with children that were directly affected by the fires. So if you are behind that idea, in the give, send, go, when you leave your little comment, please write, adopt a family. Yeah, adopt a family. And yeah. then we will add that money up when we pull all that money out of the account and ready to go on the trip. We will separate it out and we'll literally say, okay, we raised 5000 for adopt a family. We're going to adopt two families. That means they each get... 2500 That sounds good yeah, to you? that sounds good. And needless to say, when we get over there to do something like this, last time we went over there and we donated money, we donated time, we did all of the same stuff, a lot of the people over there are so private that we may not be able to. We may. We always on, ask. We do ask. And some families say, okay. I don't want to be on camera. They don't want to be on camera because... A lot of people don't want to know, let their business known. So yeah, but, so if you give, if I give you five hundred and your brother finds out, yeah, on an island is very different, folks. It, word gets around really quick. Just like in a small community, mm -hmm. it's, it word and word gets around, and it changes everything. Oh, they yeah. give him a million. Then, no, yeah, you could have gave him five dollars, right? You could have gave me five dollars, but when it gets around the island and back, it's five thousand. Oh yeah. So some people are like, "No, I don't want to." You will see the same familiar faces you saw on trip one and trip two. You'll oh, see yeah. Justin and Carrie and their family. You'll you'll hear from Stacy again. I'll definitely because that's my weather girl that did that introduced me to weather modification on my first trip. And if you really don't know what we're talking about, please go back and look at Where Are the Children. That playlist has got, I don't know, and probably a hundred videos. Yeah, and I was going to tell y'all one more thing. I got to swap arms so I can put it on this side of the camera. Right here, notice this. 
There's $145 million in a fund for anyone that lost a family member during the fire. And they ain't, they ain't trying to find Only it. 60 people have yeah. applied for it. So that's what I'm telling you guys. There are not all these kids kidnapped. There were not as many people burned to death as you think, or there would be more than 60 people applying for that 145 bucks. I mean, 145 million, okay? I'm telling yeah, you. Because I can promise you, if there was missing, a lot of people would be buying their properties back. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So God bless you guys. We love y'all. Just wanted to see what y'all thought about these ideas. We're going to keep working through this. I'm going to go live maybe tomorrow evening, Not maybe me. Monday. He'll be working Monday. But I also have to get my, my dentures um, squared away on Monday, you guys. But I will go live so that you guys can participate in this conversation. Let's start nailing this down. August is going to be here before we all know it. And you guys are going to get to meet the king. We love you guys. Have a happy Mother's Day, moms.